Een hele goede morgen, dames en heren. En van harte welkom op Vlaanderen's kerstjumpen hier op de Christmas Arena. Voor de Cavalier FIAL Jumping Ponies Trophy. Wordt de publiek over 1,30 meter. En dat is trouwens een van Rema C. En dit is de eerste van drie manches van deze grote finale. Wat een finale? Wel de kwalificatiewedstrijden die worden gereden in Herning, in Lyon, in Stuttgart en in Salzburg. En de beste combinaties over die vier manches heen, die komen hier nu aan de start in deze finale in Mechelen. De eerste van die drie finale manches wordt vandaag vrijdag. Dan gaat het er doorheen de drie dagen nog hier op Jumping Mechelen. Om dan uiteindelijk de opvolger te gaan proberen van Ben Walsh. En Ben Walsh die won vorig jaar hier in Mechelen de FDA Jumping Ponies. Zo die u aan te worden door Carlo. U maakt dit, de Ruiters en Amazonas verkennen het parcours. We hebben 18 combinaties die aan de start gaan verschijnen, inclusief de winnaar van de overal staan in de kwalificaties. Dat is een keer door uit Engeland en u weet dat de Ieren het Telkenbaan heel goed hebben gedaan hier bij ons in Mechelen in deze FIA Jumping Ponies Trophy. Maar één was één, dat wil zeggen dat er geen strafpunten worden toegekend, maar strafseconden. En per onverworpen hindernis zijn er vier seconden die worden toegevoegd aan de finish tijd van de respectieve combinaties. Ladies and gentlemen, a warm welcome to the second day of the 41st edition of Flanders Christmas Jumping the Memorial in the Flanders Jumping of Mechelen. Wednesday, the 27th of December, and in behalf of all the Flanders of Jumping Mechelen, we wish you a very warm welcome to this second day and to the first stage, the first round, the first class of the Grand Final, the Cavalier FBI Jumping Ponies Trophy Final, which is held here in Mechelen after four qualifiers in Denmark, in Herning, in Lyon, in France, in Stuttgart, in Germany, and in Salzburg, in Austria. And now the big final, the season's final held here in Mechelen. This uh, afternoon, or this morning, we'll have the first of three final rounds of the Cavalier FBI Jumping Ponies Trophy. 18 combinations will take part in this uh, first round, including the leader of the overall standings, the final standings after the fourth leg in Salzburg, that is Kian Dorr, second was Bethany Vos from the Netherlands, and Renske van Middeldorp, who also performed very strongly last year, is third of those overall standings. However, the starting order is done by draw, and that means that Dutch Mother Noah Fransen will be first to go, and Finnish runner Vera Salminen will be last to go. 18 combinations on the star list and just four minutes to go. Four minutes to go until the start of the Cavalier FBI Jumping Ponies Trophy 2023.
very good morning and a warm welcome to Belgium for the 2023 edition of Jumping Mechelen. Here in the Neckerhal, we will see three World Cup qualifiers bringing together the world's very best in three of the equestrian disciplines, the likes of the driving, the dressage, and of course, the show jumping as well. And it's show jumping where we begin the action here this morning. And it is the future that is very much on show here today. Jumping Mechelen, highlighting and emphasizing the youth here for 2023, the likes of the Young Rider competitions, the under 25s, and this series, the FEI Jumping Ponies Trophy. Three legs building nicely towards the Grand Prix that we will see here later in the week. But the first leg, the Cavalor FEI Jumping Ponies Trophy, this a table C competition. One round against the clock. There's a course that's been designed by Bart Vonk and the team out there in the Neckerhal Arena. And it consists of 12 numbered obstacles, 14 jumping efforts. We've got two doubles on course. We've got an Oxa to vertical 7A to 7B. And then a little later in the course on that final line, a right-handed curve, a double of verticals 11A, 11B, and then finishing over the Oxa at fence number 12. Now, we've got a field of eight Team young riders coming forward to compete here this morning. All of them stars of the future. Many of those have already competed at those Youth European Championships at uh, Pony and children on a horse's level as well. We've got a number of uh, different nations represented, of course, the home side of Belgium with a strong field. We've got Netherlands, we've got Germany, France, Finland, Sweden, and a strong team of riders representing Ireland as well. Ages, well, they range from 12 all the way up to 16. A few of these riders, this will be their final competition in pony level before moving up through the ranks to a young rider and then, of course, into the senior divisions as well. So, here we go with our first combination. Now, let me remind you, it's against the clock table C, so there'll be seconds added for any fence knockdown out there on the course. And this is the Netherlands that go first. Netherlands up first here this morning in the Neckerhull Arena in Belgium. This is uh, Noah Fransen, the 12 year old Pony Piotr van der Groen Cuvel. Noah, 16 years of age. So, looking to be the final show at Pony level for this combination. You can see there the six in the bottom right hand corner. Fences down, six seconds to add to that time as well. Now this course, not so much you'd expect to see for a table C competition. It's designed more of a table A. It's more about the jumping, but it is to give those riders maybe with an unlucky fence, those that show all the skill and talent that they need to maybe just have an unlucky fence around the course. They can still finish in the money awards with those fences knocked down, providing they keep up a very good pace. But you can see here with three fences down three seconds to add for each of those fences so 12 to add to that time and the total becomes 76.73 there for the Netherlands Noah Franson and Piotr van der Groen Huvel. Three seconds added on for every fence lowered one gone 76.73 at the time to beat. We know he can be caught though because of course there were three fences down for Noah France and, and Piotr van der Groen Huvel. But now we head to the first of two representing France and this is Brun Fevre and Copper de Laine. Just 13 years of age. He rode earlier this year at the Pony European Championships on home soil in Le Mans. Some good form in that Pony Grand Prix of Salzburg as well where she finished sixth with this very right so let's see what she can do here chasing down 76 73 and already she's quick look at the turn back there inside she means business here this morning it's the first time that we've seen these pony riders feature in the necker hull of mechelen and she's looking to make a very early mark the first of those double combinations with the first element going there three seconds to add but already she looks to be very quick indeed And now 
she can begin to think about uh, turning for home. Fence number 10 out of the way, this double of verticals and then the Oxra at 12 to finish, have to be careful here. And she is. One to go, this is very, very quick. Three seconds to add, of course, to the time, which stops at 54.60. It becomes 57.60. And by word, that will take some beating, won't it? Brune Favre of France, Copper de Len, 57.60. And they now lead. En dan komen bij de eerste Belgische combinatie in deze wedstrijd. Niet alleen de eerste Belgische, maar ook de beste Belgische op de overal staande na die vier kwalificatiewedstrijden in Herning Lyon. So, the next. She's going to get a warm welcome here in the Neckerhal Arena because it is for Belgium. And not only for Belgium, but the youngest rider featuring in the FEI Pony Jumping Trophy here for 2023. 12 years of age, Robin Vermeer and Crystal Sparkle van Beekveld. Robin, who will actually celebrate her 13th birthday here in Mechelen, just two days' time. Youngest rider featuring this week already, though. She's ridden at two Pony European Championships, individual fourth in Le Mans earlier this year. But already with an early fence down, three seconds to add. Pony riders have followed the circuit through the likes of Hagen, then on to Herning, Leon, Stuttgart, Salzburg. This combination, in fact, third in the Pony Masters in Herning back in October. Not quite working out as she would have planned today with. Two fences down, and six seconds to add to that time of 62.77. So the final time there, 68.77. And he goes into second for 12 year old Robin Vermeer, Crystal Sparkle, Van Beekveld. So three gone, leading at the moment, Brun Favre of France in this Cavalor FEI Ponies Trophy. But on now to the first for Ireland and another competing at a final pony show here with this ride. It is Abby Oakley. This is Boutard Stéamel. First fence down. But could play out to be a little bit of an advantage to 16-year-old Abby because she can start to push on against the clock now with that early rail down. She knows she can take a few risks. She's going to have to do just that to catch Brun Favre of France, who leads. Now, Abby was uh, on the Pony European Championship team for Ireland that won the gold medal earlier this uh, season, has gone on to pick up wins in Herning, podium placings in Salzburg as well. It is, of course, that uh, Grand Prix for these uh, pony riders that they very much have their uh, hearts set upon. A Grand Prix taking place here on Saturday. So turning down that final line now with one fence left to jump and three seconds to add. Abby Oakley here, Boutade, Stermel, and the last goes as well. 63.95 becomes 69.95 and that goes into a third at the moment for Abby Oakley. Abby Oakley in third. Robin Vermeer in second. Brun Fiverr still leading with Copper Delaine now. Leading time 57.60. That of course with three seconds added. But clear rounds proving hard to come by here this morning in this table C competition for the Cavalor FEI Jumping Ponies Trophy. But now we go to Germany. Naomi Himmelreich and Red Star Optimus. Naomi, she rode at uh, Children on horses European Championships two years ago has gone on to ride at Junior European Championships as well picked up some very big wins this year her final pony year 
She was a Grand Prix winner in Hagen back in the summertime, third in the Grand Prix of Stuttgart as well. A promising start to this round. 20 seconds to get home. Quietly down that distance to fence number 10. There's options. Plenty of placings to uh, make up the time around this course designed by uh, Bart Vonk. One to go. She's very much in touch. It's going to be close. Is she going to be quick enough? Not quite. Not quite. 0.85 of a second off the pace. Brilliant try. 58-45, and that goes into second. And the first clear. First clear recorded there by Naomi Himmelreich and Red Star Optimus, 58-45. Gambled there, didn't she? She played it safe, she went steady. She went to leave those fences up, hoping that she would still be quick enough, but she's not quite. And she goes into a second. Franz Galata from Copper de Lenn and Brun Fabre, 57-6-0 to beat five gone. 13 still to go. And this is for Belgium again. The 14-year-old Xander Lambert and uh, O'Lily V. Road of Pony European Championships in 2022. Children on Horses European Championships earlier this year. All three placings in Dunkirk and Salzburg. And at the moment, still clear. And to me, looks a little bit quicker. Maybe a little bit wide there. A big ox are off the corner for these ponies. KBC Bank. Ah, I think that's gone. I think fence nine has fallen, and it has. And then fence ten follows as well. So six seconds to add here for Xander Lambert and O'Lily V. Just starting to unravel there. Started so well, but unraveling towards the end of the round. And there's now 12 seconds to add. 60.91 becomes 72.91. And that, there for Xander Lambert, goes into fifth. Such a promising start to the round, but then just fell apart towards the end. But now it's another for France. France very much in charge here this morning in Belgium. Brun Fivre leading with Copper Delen. But now it's the turn of Gaetan Ohan. And this is French Cornet Dodival. Gaetan. Another that rode at those European Championships in Le Mans earlier this year. Nations Cup rider, the pony team in Zoutvold, and top 10 in the Grand Prix on home soil of Lyon back at the start of November. early in the course nothing to add now she can turn for home now she can start to open out the stride just keeps that nice rhythm down to the final fence moves on a little bit sees the stride early Jumps the fence as well, 64-76. There's nothing to add there. It's a foot perfect round for Gaetan or Hunt and French Cornet Dodeval. They go into third, 64-76. Plenty of action to come today, of course, later this evening. Two five-star competitions, exciting ones as well. We've got the five-star size of the world. The best stallions joining us here to compete against one another. 
in Mechelen. And then later into the evening, the BMW Masters, the top five ranked Belgium riders competing against the top five from the rest of the world, all looking to take that BMW Masters here for 2023. But it's the Netherlands' turn again. And this is Rensk van Middendorp riding the 11-year-old gelding Dollar Boy the second. Rensk another that has ridden at both children on horses and pony European Championships. She was actually a team silver medalist back in 2021 for the Dutch team. Took the silver medal second in the Masters in Herning earlier this season as well. forward distance there into the double course designer Bart Vonk just daring these riders to move those ponies on ever so slightly but then they have to be so careful once they've jumped that big ox are going in to sit up sit back on the hogs and jump that vertical out but there's two down now and it's another that made such a promising start to the round just starting to lose a little bit of focus and a little bit of concentration towards the end of the course so with six seconds to add one fence to jump, a little bit close there, but clears it. And it's 65-45, it goes to 71.45 there. Lorenzk van Middendorp and Dollar Boy the second into six. So if we take a little glance at the leaderboard, still Francis Brun Fiverr are leading. Then Naomi Himmelreich second, Gaetan Warhunt in third, Robin Vermeer in fourth. I can assure you that with those competitions still to come this week, this Neckerhall Arena will be packed to the rafters. But on we go, and it's the Netherlands again this time. Ava Eden van Grunsven and Special Lady. It's a 21 year old mare. It's been a super pony for Ava who's ridden at three Pony European Championships now. And of those, she's won team bronze and a team silver. Now, if she wants to take gold here in the Cavalor FEI Jumping Ponies Trophy, she's going to have to take the risks in the latter stages of the course because she's had a fence down, so there's a three-second time penalty at the moment. But she hasn't taken a check. She's gone five down the distance to the Oxer at 10. Gives the pony a little bit of room there into that double of verticals. Has to stay careful, and she does. As she clears the final fence, she stops the clock 61.05. With the three added, it becomes 64.05. And the Netherlands now go into third. Ava Eden van Grunsven there with special lady. So into third there, Ava Eden van Grunsven, Naomi Himmelreich still second, but 57-6-0 leads for uh, Brun Fiverr and Copper de Lenn. Well, the third in a row for the Netherlands. Bethany Voss and still got me. 12 years of age, this gelding is my follow me. Time to beat still 57.60. Got it very close to that uh, vertical. She did very well. This pony really trying. Tight turn back to the vertical at three. stays careful over that vertical out. 
close there to the KBC Oxford, but she's still clear. Another to move on, on that five strides between nine and ten. Turning for home, she's not far off, 57-6-0. Just sits, waits for that stride. And she jumps the clear, 60.69 on the clock there, and that goes into third for the Netherlands, Bethany Voss, and still got the Netherlands now. Third and fourth. Germany second, though, and France lead. Brun Favre, Copa de Len, 57-6-0. What a round that was. They were second in the draw. Now, that was, of course, with a fence down as well, and three seconds added really hard to appreciate just how quick it was when she was drawn second but now we really start to get the idea and get the understanding that she was flying against the clock here in Belgium but on we go Ireland again Lauren Adams here with the 10 year old sleeve bloom Bella Rose winner of the Grand Prix in Salzburg on the Irish Nations Cup team that was second back at the start of the year in Gorla Minore. And this year she's picked up wins in the likes of Zudvold alongside that Grand Prix win of Salzburg as well. time around this course flows to that vertical big striding pony this one here not going to be quite quick enough but well she would have been there or thereabouts for a good placing but she's had that refusal and the bell sounds there just while they uh, get that vertical into the double rebuilt costly as well because there's going to be seconds added on for that disturbance you can see there the clock rises to 64.16 so six seconds added for that refusal with the disturbance rattle in big jump out though so the final time is 71.02 and it goes into eighth place there for Lauren Adams and it was looking English so English so English promising English and that one slight mistake it was so costly here for the 2023 edition of jumping Mechelen still seven to go I wonder are any of them capable of catching 57.60 that gauntlet that was thrown down by Varun Fiedra and Copper a run of two for Sweden now one of the uh, younger riders to feature here, this is uh, Vigo Bergstrand, 13 years of age, on board a 12-year-old gelding, Gelf Maralad. Much bred to gelding, this one. Jumped exceptionally well in Herning back in October. Winning the first leg, the opening leg of the FEI trophy, went on to win the Grand Prix as well that's already featured on Nations Cup teams, the Pony Division, a member of the team that competed at Centaur here in Belgium earlier in the year. So just 13 years of age, but already with a lot of experience competing in championships and on Swedish teams. goes there comes our final fence well completed the course while in fact 64.10 one fence down goes into fifth there for the young man from Sweden Vigo Bergstrand and Gail Tamara Lad Local of the Fifth place for Sweden here is Sweden once more. Ellen Hammerström. Ellen Hammerström with Ossian Deras. 
French Black Pony with it. So, six remain. Of those six, we've got two for Ireland, Germany, France, Finland, and this one for Sweden. Ellen Hammerstrom and the 21 year old Gaudi Ocean Day AS. French bred Gaudi. Ellen, who rode at the Pony European Championships earlier this year, where she took a silver medal in both the team and the individual competitions. She was a winner in Herning and went on to take third in the Grand Prix. It's been a table C competition, a speed competition. The majority have gone on the forward five between nine and ten. A couple have gone six, but keeps up a good pace down to that final fence, and that'll shake up the leaderboard. 60.05 with nothing to add. 60.05 goes third for Sweden's Ellen Hammerstrom and Ocean Day AS. Germany still second, Naomi Himmel Reich, and it's France that lead. Rune Fiber and Copper de Len. Their time 57.60. There's just five left to go. Next to go, though, for Ireland, Jack Cash, winner in Herning, second in Fontainebleau, and just a few weeks ago, fourth in the opening trophy and the Grand Prix of Salzburg. Jack Cash for Ireland here. The youngest pony to feature, just seven years of age. And there is Queener Van Easterhoff. Jack Cash. Number 14, Jack Cash. Number 14, Jack Cash. By the great for pleasure, this seven year old mare. Who's the partner the German great Marcus Enning? Two Olympic medals. So the breeding definitely there for this seven year old pony. Competing at this level already, showing a huge amount of talent. talking about it at the start of the competition that the FEI have run this as a table C competition as opposed to a table A just to give those that have the unlucky fence the opportunity to still place here in the Cavalor FEI jumping ponies trophy 6207 there Jack Cash in Queen Irvine van to Gieselhoff it goes in to fifth 6207 very good round but of course Francis Burun Padra finished with that one fence down but the three seconds added on the times 57.60 and that still leads it was a tremendous round and at the moment Groom Piper have been rewarded with that top spot with just four left to go we stay with Ireland and the next to go a winner in Stuttgart a winner in Lichtenwald Grand Prix winner in Lyon it's Ireland's Kian Dor and sparkling Lacamoire Joey many of these pony riders have already begun their transition onto horses they've been competing in the young rider competitions those under 25 competitions and the one star classes as well he and here one of those riders that have begun that transition they're making that uh, look very seamless indeed just 
15 years of age, already very tall, but he's got another year left in the pony competitions. You could see there one of the spectators with the hands on the heads of the fence went down at number 10. Let's see what he can do, though. Still very quick indeed. Stops the clock at 57.59, which would have been good enough by a hundredth of a second, but three seconds added, 60.59, and it goes into four. Francis Kiendor and sparkling Lacamoire Joey. Three still to go, not dry, next to Deutschland with Casino Royale, Raphael, Reichardt, Eisenhardt, Deutschland, Germany is next to go. Jumping now, Germany's Raphael, Reichardt, Eisenhardt and Casino Royale. Tremendous pony this. in the UK for a number of years now. Here with the German rider Raphael, 20 years of age, this Geldi, third in the Grand Prix of Salzburg. Just a few mistakes starting to creep in now as the riders towards the end of the draw really start to push against the clock as they try to chase down the leader Brunfeiber and Copper de Lenn. down there late in the course so 12 seconds to add four fences lowered 12 added to 59.02 becomes 71.02 and it goes into 12. Varun Favre must be watching on from the warm-up arenas there'll be plenty of screens out there she could have been watching off from ringside as well it's been a long long wait and nail biting wait wondering if she's done enough to win the first leg of the fei jumping ponies trophy here in mechlin just two riders stand in her way and one of them a fellow countryman zoe marachal and berlioz denan 12 year old gelby Berlioz Denan and Zoe Marachal. Berlioz Denan, Zoe Marachal. The good run in Stuttgart back in November, third and fourth in the FEI Jumping Ponies Trophy Series there. Grand Prix winner, Fontainebleau. And she's gone wide there, but she's stayed very close to the wing. these young riders already thinking about the tactics that are at play here this week in Mechlin of course that Grand Prix featuring here on Saturday afternoon that's the one that these young riders very much want to win so 66.48 the total time. Goes into the top 10. It goes into 10th place there for Zoe Marachal and Berlioz Denan. There's just one left to go. It'll be a brilliant start for Brun Fiber and Copper de 57.60. I'm sure when she completed her round with the offence down and the three seconds added, she thought the chance had gone. And now we can really appreciate just how quick she was going. But there's one left to go. 57.60 the time to beat. Will it be France that win the opening leg of the FEI Jumping Ponies Trophy? Or will it be Finland? This is Vera Salminen and Nero van der Buchstal. Children on Horses European Championships last year, Pony European Championships earlier this year. Another rider that is 
moving through the ranks into the senior competitions as well. She was an under 25 winner in Lipton Vaud. Now Vera just 15 years of age, so she would have been competing against riders 10 years her senior. But showed them exactly how it was done. Can she do the same here with 20 seconds left to get home? She wouldn't be too far away from that leading time of Brun Fiverr. Let's see what she can do down this final line. 57 6 0. That's gone. Three seconds to add, and that could be costly. I think she was quicker. She was, you know, 57.09, but it's a costly three second time penalty there. 60.09. The total time for Finland's Vera Salminen and Nero van der Buchtal. 60.09 goes in to four. But it's been a tremendous start to the international jumping action here in Mechelen. There we see the winner for France, Brun Fiverr and Copa de Lens. Germany's Naomi Himmelreich in second, Sweden third with Ellen Hammerstrong. Then Vera Salmanen finishing in fourth, the last to go takes the fourth spot. The best for Ireland, Kian Dore and sparkling Lackmore Joey in fifth. And sick goes to the Netherlands. And Bethany Boss and still Gumby. But all have completed and all now have set themselves up very nicely for the competitions still to come.
Competing at the same shows as the best jumping athletes in the world is a fantastic experience for young athletes and a great opportunity for fans to see them fall alongside the superstars of our sport. Well, we get an idea of just what's at stake here this week in Mechelen. The FEI Jumping Ponies Trophy, a series that has moved with some of the world's very best riders. The likes of Herning, Stuttgart, Lyon, here in Mechelen as well, where on Saturday afternoon, the FEI Jumping Ponies Trophy champion of 2023 will be Brand. Brilliant to see. And of course, these young riders can really learn from the world's very best as they follow them across Europe. And the spectators and the audiences get to see these young riders develop and evolve from leg to leg, building towards that final here on Saturday afternoon. And there we see our winner here this morning. Could this young lady go the distance and win the final here on Saturday? She's just 13 years of age, but what a performance this morning. Well done to Francis Brun Favre and Copper Delen. Definitely a name to remember for the future. Second place it was for Naomi Himmelreich and the 10-year-old Red Star Optimus for Germany. Then third, Sweden's Ellen Hammerstrom and Ocean Day AS. The best of the Irish, the young man. There, Kian Dor finishing in fifth. So Vera Salmanen taking fourth place from final draw with Nero van der Buchtel. And sixth there for the Netherlands, Bethany Voss and the 12-year-old Gelding. By Follow Me, still got me. These young riders will learn so much from their experience here on the FEI Jumping Ponies Trophy for 2023. <laughs> Brilliant start to the action on day two of the 2023 edition of the Jumping Mechelen. Brilliant start for this lady as well. Just 13 years of age. Remember the name for the future. Remember the name with those competitions still to come here in Belgium. The winner of the Cavalor FEI Jumping Ponies Trophy here. 13 year old Brun Pivre of France and Copper Delen. look at the round from Brun Pfeiffer and now we can really appreciate some of those turns and some of those angles and that gallop and pace as well down this final line. She won it from second draw and there she is enjoying the moment. The victory gallop all on her own with a big smile on the face. The winner of the first leg of the FEI Jumping Ponies Trophy here in Mechelen, Brun Pfeiffer and Copper Delen. Well, we've got a little bit of a moment or two to catch our breath before the uh, jumping action resumes here. We've got some tremendous action to come later this afternoon. Don't forget to return to us here at 6.45 in Belgium for the first of the five-star competitions of the week. That size of the world. Sponsored by Zangerscheid, sponsored by the Melchior family. Brilliant action resuming at 6.45.